Let's do this. Chin watch. Two trips, one jellyfish caught, finally caught. Camping, cooking, fishing at Lake Kaka. What's that? Kahu Kahuna. Let's see how depressed Chin makes us today. Let's see how depressed Chin makes us today, okay? Let's see how depressed Chin makes us today. Ramp. I think I just landed one of the best campsites I've ever had here at Lake Kachima. This is all to myself, this whole section. No neighbors there, just nice green grass, like super green grass. Hey, I don't drive, right? But why doesn't why does Chin get a nicer car? Do you think he's trying to like act cool or something or whatever? Why don't you just get a nicer whip? Why would you drive such a shit car? Actually, let me let me center my screen a little bit. Why would you why why would you get such a terrible car? Why not just buy something a little bit more, you know, akin to your social status? Why would you purposely buy something so terrible looking? Is that like a flex thing to look like you don't really care about cars or something? I don't understand it. Lakeside, all this area to myself, and there's a uh, campers over there in their RV, but. I mean, this whole section is... Like, I'm not saying you should have a Porsche, but just something a little bit better than that fucking, you know, than the Prius. You shouldn't have a Porsche, but something just a tad bit better than that Prius. To myself, this is pretty dang cool. And this is Campsite 480. Why do we need to know that? I told you guys I'm going to keep making sure that you guys know which campsites I go to so you can visit it as well if you like the way it looks. Yeah, and Definitely, everyone's running to the campsites that you go and visit, mate. If they're going there, they're going there to try and see if there's any dead bodies around. I'm pretty sure you're gonna like the way this place looks, because I mean, come on. Like the way the dick tastes? Seriously. This is so dope. <laughs> Someone put this cool Budweiser cover on this. Cool, you know? He says it's cool. That guy said that cover is cool. Cool, okay. I guess that's one way to describe it, my, my friend. Cool. It's not the way I describe that fucking horrible student art project shit you got there. Doesn't look cool to me, but hey, cool is subjective, I guess. I'll use it. All right, before it gets too dark, let's see if I can show you this shot here. It's kind of blocked, but how cool does that look? Again, the, the word cool is the being overused in this fucking stream already. Cool. Moonlight there. And the reflection on the lake. You should be with somebody in a place like this, huh? It should be a great place to take a girl or a guy or something in between. You should share these type of moments. It is quite nice. I'm, I'm going to give it to him. I'll take it back. But to just witness all this shit on your own is a little bit depressing. I'm not going to lie. It's actually quite a nice landscape, you know, situation going on there. And to do it all by yourself. Oof. Trees blocking it and so is this pole, but still looks really cool. Okay, gotta set up my tent. I don't know, does that meat look like it's gone through them? Is, does that meat look like he, does that meat look human? <laughs> Number one. Does it look edible? Number two. Like, I don't know, like the color of that isn't good. I don't know, the color of that is a bit mad, isn't it? Or am I bugging? The color of that is a bit mad. The thickness is crazy on that kind of grill also. You could probably cut that in half and probably get two bits of bob in it, right? If you wanted to, but maybe I'm maybe I'm being a little bit too much. Some asparagus there, cool. Trying to get his greens in, I guess. Is that how he seasons? How do how you how do you season your steak on the fire? Why don't you just rub it in? And have it wrapped before you get there. And then when you get there, on the journey there, it gets time to marinate. Not that long. We should marinate longer. But why not rub it in while you're, like, preparing your stuff in your home? Wrap it in some cling film or foil or whatever. When you get there, it's nice and marinated. And you just pull up it on the fucking grill. Why is he just sprinkling, like, shit on top? Like, he cooks like a white... Like, not even like... Why, why, people, why, why people don't cook like this? I'm taking it back. Why people don't cook like this? This is some weird way of cooking. Like, why would you cook like this? Why? 
feels like it's like he just uh, puts a massive potato on there as well like this is a weird way to fucking cook man i was lost in conversation on the phone so i didn't check the food lost in conversation on the phone yeah right who are you talking to your mum. 60 something degrees. I, I was lost. You had one job to cook a bit of steak and some potatoes and veggies on an open fire, and you still managed to fuck it up. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ, bro. That steak has been absolutely barbecued. Oh my goodness. Look at I that. It. Oh my God. We can tell from the looking at it. It's not even flexing. That completely is unedible. That is like gone charcoal. Fucking hell, bro. He's destroyed the bit of steak. That was a massive T bone take as well. That's a, probably quite expensive. Why is my. Do I drop this too? Why is he recording the blowings onto social Damn media? It. He's so horrible at oh, cooking. This is the most burnt. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. Absolute travesty. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Look what he's done to it. He's burned it to a singe. It's been charcoaled. It's been fucking charcoaled. He charcoaled that entire steak. It's gone. It's done. It's finished. Oh my fucking god. How did he manage to do that? Never had in my life. These asparagus? Oh, boys, boys and girls of the chat, boys and girls and everything else in between of the chat. He burned the potato. Boys and girls of the chat and everything else in between. He burned the fucking potato. He burned a potato. Are you fucking serious? He's burned asparagus. Look, he's burned the fucking asparagus and the potato. <laughs> Oh my fucking God. He's burned the potato and the fucking asparagus. He's fucking burned it all. He's burned it all. He's burned the whole thing. The whole thing has been charred. This is fucking steak BBQ. This is camping BBQ. He's taken his experience of cooking on an open fire. At well, he must be used at Korean barbecue, right? If he's burning this, what is he like at Korean barbecue? He must be hopeless. Still burnt, and I keep dropping. Oh, oh wow. my god, bro! I'm terrible at this. I realized later the but, tips uh, of my tongs are bent out not of shape. Burnt that bad. I don't... That bad. Look at that. That bad. Look at that. Oh my. I have the right tool. Oh, I just dropped. <sighs> okay. Where's the potato gone? You know what I hate the most about Chin? You know what I hate the most about Chin? You know what I hate the most about Chin and his videos? He's got a MacBook here. He's got a MacBook here. You can't see in the screen, but he's got a MacBook there, right? Some sort of MacBook. Maybe a MacBook Air, maybe a MacBook Pro. $1,000 plus. Dollars. He's got the newest iPhone. $1,000 plus. Dollars. He's probably got some crazy lamp. £500. Pounds. He's got his camera equipment, his GoPro, all this stuff. It's probably like... 10 grand of equipment he takes with him and he can't afford to take a couple of plates with him even fucking paper plates i fucking hate you can't take paper plates you just take a cutting board and use that as a makeshift plate you don't even take proper cutlery you have plastic knives and plastic forks to cut into steak you don't even have a steak knife you can take with you all that money you spend on equipment and shit and you can't make yourself take a fucking plate a regular plate just to eat and you don't take what you don't have to take seven one decent plate that can double up as a bowlish type thing just a decent plate a camping plate a plate from your fucking kitchen whatever one good steak knife one good fork one good spoon that's all you need and one good plate and one good cup to put your fucking drinks in no we're going to put it on a fucking cutting board <sighs> Okay, so I pretty much ruined the steak. Yeah, you did, bro. It's let's fucking see how it burned. Is. And as you can see, it's a little bit on the crispy side. Look at that face. Is he trolling us? You know what he kind of looks like? Doesn't Chin a bit look like Fresh from Fresh and Fit? Walter Fresh. Does he look like him? Or am I bugging out? Don't they have the same pug face? 
Doesn't chin look a bit like water? Where is it? No, it's the picture there. Famous bird. Let's see there. Am I bugging out or does chin not look a little bit like fresh from fresh and fit? What do you guys think? Am I bugging? Am I bugging or does chin not look a bit like him? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Don't they look kind of similar? Don't they look kind of similar? Kind of. Kind of. Anyway, let's continue. Oh, we shall see how it is. I'm using a plastic fork and plastic knife. Of course you are, because you're a bozo. Not too bad. Jesus Christ, bro. That is so. Look how chewy that is. He's gonna try and pretend. Look, that 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 sounds like chewing gum. You can hear it from the way he's chewing. Let me replay it to you one more time. Listen, look 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 at look at look at his mouth while he's chewing. He's trying to he's trying to sell it well because he fucked up a fucking good piece of steak. He's probably spent a good bit of money on. But listen to how he chews. Listen to his chew. Listen to his chew. Too bad. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, of course you say that. He, he has no discernible. You can't trust Chin when it comes to quality of food because he'll eat anything. He'll eat Seven Eleven food, foodie fans on the floor. Like he's not, he's not the best judge of what good food is. He's just, you know, he's got a fucking small intest, you know, a stomach, a, a digestive system made out of fucking adamantium or something. Let me put some A1 steak sauce on this. If you have to have steak sauce on your steak, your steak is not cooked properly, and you haven't seasoned it well. It's like putting ketchup on your steak. You haven't cooked it well. Sorry, you haven't. You didn't season it well. You didn't prepare it well. It is what it is. That's why you have to cover it in fucking steak to get it to taste good. What next? Cheese. Brand new. God, honestly, the lack of plate is annoying me, man. This Let's cut, try can't you bit. cut that bit? Why did it, why did it have that bit where you're shaking like you've got Alzheimer's? Thick and hearty. It's really good. Yeah, of course. Fucking hell, bro. He just eat, okay. He eats anything, innit? He's just a waste of space, bro. But why would you just waste of cooking materials, waste of produce, waste? Good night, sweet dreams. I'm going to finish all this stuff, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning. I'm going to try to catch fish and make a catch and cook out of this video, but we'll see. Good night, sweet dreams. Yuck. Jump it's like 4.30 in the morning and I can't sleep because it's freezing and uh, I don't know. I just can't sleep. But check this out. How oh, no. badass is that? Yeah, you should be there with somebody, brother. You shouldn't be enjoying this by yourself. You should have somebody to enjoy it with you because that does actually and look quite beautiful. Literally. I'm not going to lie. Here's my view and then here's my tent. Cool. It's like right there. Yeah. Who cares? Let's take a quick break because my sponsor, Into the Am, is. How the fuck does this guy have a sponsor? For what? What for? He's giving all of you 10% off their entire website with my link. Okay, we don't care. Uh, feels so nice. We don't care. Okay. I think he signaled to me that we're going to catch fish. So let's do it. So what I this is actually a beautiful place where he's at. I'm not going to lie. This is actually fucking beautiful. It's gorgeous. Look at that landscape. Absolutely phenomenal. But he just makes these things so depressing. What I do is like, I'll troll from this bank all the way down and see if I get a bite. At this moment, I'm trying to go fish, but I also have a work call in like 10 minutes. So it's kind of a struggle, but let's see what I can do before I do the work call. Let's see if I can troll and do the work call. You know what? No, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna freaking do the work call first. Gosh dang it. You know what? Screw it. I'm putting one line out. This. Ah. This crankbait. I'm putting it out, we're trolling. And I'll do the work call as we troll. So I'm gonna keep trolling at about two miles per hour. And uh. And do this work call. All right. Talk to you guys later. How so you guys might see me. How many times did he mention the work call? How many times did he mention that? 
Can I count that? How many times you mentioned work? Call? Line out. This. Hold on, what's that? What? How many times you mentioned work? Call? I want to see every time you mentioned. At this moment, I'm trying to go fish, but I also have a work call wow. in like 10 minutes. So it's kind of a struggle, but let's see what I can do before I do the work call. Let's see if I can troll and do the work call. You know what? No, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna freaking do the work call first. Gosh dang it. You know what? Screw it. I'm putting one line out. This. Ah. This crankbait. I'm putting it out. We're trolling. And I'll do the work call Fine. as we troll. So I'm gonna keep trolling at about two miles per hour. And, uh. <laughs> and do this work call. Six. All right. Talk to you guys later. So you guys might see me catch a fish right now. We shall see. Yeah, that'll be, be awesome. <laughs> work call, Trout, work call, work call. Uh, bass, crappie, bluegill, everything. I'm actually making a video now. You can see that. Yeah, oh, I'm wow. trying to make a work video if I can catch a fish, but yeah. Amazing, who, who, who does those things? Who works like that? Crazy, man. What employee of the month, employee of the year, employee of the century, work call. Wow, crazy, psycho. Oh my God. Just a quick update, no fish. When you Still try to film while trolling. fishing, you So we're gonna keep trolling all the way down to the dam and see what happens, but- uh, Why does he have these subtitles you on know, these videos? I gotta be honest. When he's talking over them and he's not saying the things that he's talking about in the subtitles. Why is is this like an is this is this like a new Asian thing? Why does he have these subtitles on his videos when he's just saying things that have nothing to do with what he's talking about? Look. He's fishing, right? Watch what happens with the subtitles. Watch, watch, watch. He has these narrative subtitles come over the video that have nothing to do with what he's talking about. Oh my god. I lost one. I lost this one. But thankfully I didn't lose my lure. Then he starts talking. Just a quick subject. update. Watch. No fish. When you try to Still fish, film while trolling. fishing, you lose. So we're gonna keep more trolling fish. all the way down to the dam and see what happens. But uh, you know, I gotta be honest. I'm not feeling that Weird. confident. However, I do feel Weird. like there's a chance. So we shall see. We shall see. Kind of hard. Big up. Chin is off that kratom. <laughs> yeah, he's he's off more than kratom, Keith T. Chin is off more than fucking Kratom, for sure. Maybe off, I don't know what stuff, but definitely more than Kratom, because fuck, you know. But big up, Keith T, I appreciate you, brother. Hard to tell, but the water is really murky. It's very, like, brown. I mean, can you guys see? Yeah, the chest mount is for the GoPro. Cloud K20, the chest, the fucking corny, cringy, try-hard chest mount is for the GoPro. He's like one of those, uh, he's one of those, he's like one of those um, shopping mall security guards, isn't it? <laughs> With the stab proof vest and the GoPro and the fucking gun and the several gun holsters like he's fucking John Wick. Like, all right, bro, relax. You're not pro bass fishing champion. You know what I mean? Like, let's chill out. I'm not sure if that affects the fishing or not, but uh, that's what I'm gonna blame. It's because it's too murky. No fish were caught back at camp and my buddy just arrived. My buddy, my buddy just gave me bun me sandwich, huh? The Viet Cong sandwich. Viet Cong sandwich? Okay. There it is. <laughs> oh, sh Always pick up your trash if it, if, if it flies away. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta get that. They don't even put that much meat in there. Look at that whip. Why? It, why? Bullshit. I don't have soy sauce, but here we go. So he needs to eat and his friend felt bad for him. You probably saw him posting some videos on Instagram stories. He was like, you know what? I can't let my boy go out of this. So this is actually a good friend. A good friend saw what he was cooking, saw what he was putting together. He was like, I can't let my friend go out like this. I can't. I can't let him go out of this. So he came out, gave him a sandwich, and he's really hungry because he didn't cook that steak well. He had to throw it in the bin most likely. So big up the friend. This means coldest. But it's good. Complaining about cold sandwich when you just fucking burnt through an entire steak, a T-bone steak, that was fairly thick because you were on, you were having a phone call with somebody that doesn't exist is hilarious. It's very delicious. Oh, 
Why is he doing that? Chin, you're 45 years old, bro. This isn't funny. This isn't cute. Ooh, losing a bit of hair there. No wonder he comes it forward, isn't it? Ooh, ho, ho. losing a bit of hair there, aren't we, sir? No wonder he does that weird comb thing, isn't it? Uh oh. That's what you get for not cooking. That, that's this is punishment for not cooking your food properly. This what happens when you don't season your food properly. This is what happens when you don't check on your food when it's on an open fire. This is what happens when you're, you know, when you fucking kill loads of innocent women allegedly and bury them somewhere around the grounds where you go and camp allegedly. This is what happens. This is the karma for it. Thank you. So my buddy who doesn't want to be on camera. So, my buddy, my buddy. Barbecue tacos. We can't hear you, bro. Sausages. <laughs> Look at his friend feeding him. Look at his friend doing what a normal friend does. Bringing a plate, some paper plates to eat from, and giving him a nice little tortilla with some meats and sausages in it. Couldn't he do this himself? His friend is the fucking lifesaver. His friend is the fucking champion. His friend deserves all the praise. That's what he should have brought. Easy. Look how good that looks. And it looks like it's been cooked himself at, at home or on some sort of grill. Is that hard to do, Chin? Is that very really difficult to do? To grab some non-descript meats and put them on a fire and then put them inside a fucking wrap and cover them in your fucking ranch or steak sauce. It's not that difficult. Big up the friend. Korean barbecue spare rib bones in the taco. What the hell? Why don't you at least remove the bones, dude? Oh, this guy's a bitch. You want me to bring you food and then you want me to take the bones off the food for you. Give you fucking, what, boneless meat. Like a big baby. What next? You want some chicken nuggets? You want some chicken tendies? Come on, Chin. Thank you. Oh, you son of a... Having another man pour kimchi for you on your fucking plate as you sit back. Honestly, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Look, look at the posture. Look at the posture. Thank you. Oh, I missed it. Oh, it's doing. What do you say? It's pause it in this, isn't it, right? Every frame. Big up Austin Case, I think it's this sign, right? Look at the frame when he's sitting back, looking at him pour the fucking thing on his plate. He looks like he's about to, he's, he's looking, he looks like he's looking down to see him sucking his dick or something. Look, maybe I'm being a bit too extreme, but wait when I get there. Watch, I'll show you when I get there. There's a scene, there's a, there's a kind of a view here where it looks like Chin is trying to film him, giving him a fucking blowy or something. Watch, 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 watch. Maybe my mind's in the gutter. But just watch, you'll see it. Let me go through the frames. It looks like he looks like he's trying to give him a blow or something. Where is it? Okay, cool. Let's go back. Let's go forward. Let's go back now. Watch, watch, watch what I mean. Watch, 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 watch. Letting another man give you kimchi like that on your on your plate is incredibly questionable. I'm not gonna lie. Letting another man give you Kimchi like this on your plate is incredibly, incredibly questionable. Very, very, very questionable about which way you swing because wow, that's just inviting. That's just inviting a cock, a cock squeeze, a cock twist, a shaft fondling. You know, a shaft grip. Just watch, watch. I'm just going back now. I'm going by it frame by frame. Just watch what I mean. Watch. You'll see the stance. You see the motion that chins in. Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Watch, 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 watch. It's coming, it's coming. Look, I'm coming as well. Look, there you go. Now I'm coming. Now I'm fucking coming. Look at this. Look at Chin's face. Look at Chin's face. Does he look like he's about, look. Does he look like he's waiting for a blowy? <laughs> Don't look like he's waiting for a blowy. Look, let me take away the chat. Let me take away the chat so you can see it. Let me take a chat so you can see it. Does it look like he's looking for a blowy? Look, 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 look. <laughs> what is that? What is that? What is that? Someone tell me. Does it look like he's looking for a blowy? Look at that. <laughs> look at his face. Look at his face. Look at his fucking face. Look at that face. Look at that. Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> look at his face man look at his face exactly Uche knows like, that's a oh, that's a oh shit did I guys did I tell you guys that one time where I went to New York so I went to New York 
maybe I was what 2005 2008 it was the first sort of like group holiday me and my friends went to like the first lads holiday and we we're all like maybe like 18 19 or one, one of those kind of ages and um, we went there and we said this is ho- in this hostel and I ended up having to stay in another room because naturally I arrived late um, I missed one of my flights so I, had to, I had to arrive late I went and stayed in another hostel I stayed in another room in the hostel I ended up staying in a room in this hostel with this really hot English girl who was also staying there and it, we ended up hooking up right and when we hooked up in the we hooked up in the park, right in Central Park, we hooked up in Central Park one day at night. And if you know about Central Park, you know that after a certain time, the police guys come by in their little cars. They have like little police drivers in cars, right? So these police drivers came by in a car and was like telling people to fuck off. But I didn't know this. So this we're we're in Central Park and this girl is giving me a blowy on this bench. And I swear to God, I was I was so naive and dumb at that time because it was one of the first time it ever happened to me in public. I was like doing this to the air and like putting my hands up there while she was going down with me. And and the police car went, woo, 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 woo. and we had to kind of run and run away. So I always think like that police officer must have saw me do this. He must have saw me like put my hands up and thank the God above heaven as this like tiny fucking, you know, English girl was giving me the Glock Glock 700. So I know what that face is because I've done that face myself. I've experienced that situation. So big up chin. <laughs> <laughs> and big up that story time absolutely epic 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 time um but yeah let me let me put that back up for you again so you can see this is fucking brilliant thank you oh you son of a you put on my lap man green barbecue taco <laughs> yeah yeah exactly <laughs> exactly I was, I was so cringe i was like this i was like on the bench on the central park like doing this like literally put my hands up and <laughs> It was so funny. I thought it was so special. I thought it was such a monumental moment. Then we went back to the hostel and we found out that, you know, that lady had been, uh, let's just say she'd been friendly with other people in that hostel too. <laughs> I wasn't the only one. It crushed me. I thought I achieved something. I was like, oh. <laughs> at least I didn't tell her I loved her though. I didn't go that far. I wasn't that much of a loser at that point. I do it now. But I wasn't a loser at that point. You know, I kind of kept it. I kept kept some composure. But yeah, I went back later. I was like, fuck, man. I realised that, oh shit, I was one of many. (laughs) I might have been 15 that week. (laughs) But it was still good. It was still good. Thank you. Alright, there's a rig. It's a, uh, it's literally like a low high rig. I got a sinker on the bottom and I got liver here with magic dot on it. And I'm going to cast it out and there's some rocks stuck to it now because it just touched the rocks, which is crazy, but yeah. All right, let's see what happens after we cast it out. So we have two rods out, this one and that one. We'll check back in about a few hours. Oh, what's a bar? Is that a bar? What's that? Hooked bar and grill. Oh, see? <coughs> he's not doing well, is he? Chin isn't doing well. He's not cooking or catching the things well at all. He's having to go to these fucking restaurants and go, in and go to eat because he's not doing well. It's not happening to him. I can tell. He's finally realized that he's probably not that great at this, so he's not taking any chances. And he actually is deciding to go and eat at these places. It's fucking hilarious. I love this. I love this new arc where he's not trying to pretend like he's a fucking good fisherman or some shit. He's just giving up and going straight to the bars and going to go eat something as well. He's not showing you the picture of what he ate, but he's just drinking beer and showing you. Imagine going to a lake to go and fish and you're here in a bar next to the lake and you're filming, you think, drinking a pint of beer one-handed. Just drink, enjoy the fucking drink, enjoy the view, chat to the bartenders, maybe try and get a fucking blowy from one of the hags works behind a bar, like, I don't know, have some fun, man. You know, maybe for, go and fucking try and get some drugs from the local fucking drug dealer there or whatever. Do something, man. What are you recording this shit? Just enjoy yourself, really. Oops. Double IP. Delicious. Look, there's a nice lady at the back there. That's where that's where Chin should be in. Chin should be in that lady's walls. Double IP. Del- yeah, I see fucking... Ronda, Ronda over there. That's where Chin should be. Chin should be talking to Ronda, giving her some game. Yo, big up. Just found out my wife has automatic citizenship in the UK. Where to live in the future? From the US. 
Oh yes, big up. Um, if you come to the UK and you want to live, I'm gonna say. Go to where should we go to UK? I say go to like Manchester and stuff. Don't come to London. London's expensive, way too expensive for what it is. And there's better train state. There's like nicer trains and all that shit over there's trains you can get to come to london if you want but i'd say try and live in places like manchester liverpool newcastle are really nice even leeds go to those type of places and then if you want to come and visit london you can come and visit but you don't need to stay here you know i'd say go live in those type of places or even somewhere like a bristol bristol's really nice as well so go check out those places as well so big up you i appreciate you so much thank you for the donation my friend Look at Chin's face. That's how you should be, Chin. Yeah, Chin. Put that face in Ronda. Put that face in Ronda, Chin. Put that face in Ronda, Chin. Delicious. Is that a new thing now? Oh, look, look, look him ordering food. By the way, look at this. Look at these. Look at these videos now. He's not. He's not cooking his own food anymore. I think Chin realized he's useless in the kitchen, so he's now doing these. Look, he's not cooking anymore. Where's the cooking? He's buying loads of food. Interesting. All right. Me and my friend ordered this kachuma burger. Fries, let's try that. You bought a burger. Has, has Chin, has Chin, look, look how hungry. You can tell Chin's hungry. He, he definitely threw away that steak. He 100% threw that steak away. I'm going to turn up the camera so I can finish his food and go to sleep. Yeah, right. You turn up the camera so you can put the fucking steak in the bin. You fucking liar. He's so hungry. <laughs> Let's try this burger looks fucking good though, I'm not gonna lie, the burger looks really good. Imagine Chin not be able to cook a random burger like this. Standard patty, a burger, standard bun, some lettuce. Look at his face. Look at that look, look at the reaction to this compared to the reaction to how he when he had that steak. When you tried to convince him, mm, that's actually really good. That's actually a nice bit of burger. Look, he's absolutely happy about that. He hasn't eaten in days. Look at him. He can't even talk. Let me tell you what. He can't even talk. That's a damn good burger. Exactly. He can't even talk. He can't even talk. He's so happy. He hasn't eaten in ages. That's hilarious. Look how beautiful this campsite is right now. And look at this view. Check out this. Big up. Made is five beers deep. Look how he opens that bag. Yeah, is oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Good point, good point, good point. Let me actually look that. Let's just, let's actually see that. Let's actually see that fear though. I didn't, I didn't realize I opened a bag. Let's see. How do you open the bag? I, I didn't check that. I didn't see that. He's five beers deep. <laughs> He's five beers deep. <coughs> Next meal. All right. Me and my friend ordered this kachuma. Me and my friend. <laughs> Fries. Yeah, you're right. You're right. There's definitely a bit of tipsiness. That's probably his st and that's a f that's another fresh full pint. He completely finished the other one before. That's definitely he's definitely a couple pints in. Chin is proper tipsy with his mate as well. They're going for it. They're going for it. Me and my friend. Me and my friend. He's even friend. slurring as well, being silly. Yeah. Big up this view. Theodore, appreciate you, bro. It's a family down there, but check out this view. I mean, this is one of the most beautiful places in the world, and it's not. It actually that is. Hot. Look at that. That look, that's fucking gorgeous. I'm not gonna lie. That is really fucking nice, man. That is really picturesque. Picturesque. That is fucking gorgeous. Look at that. Wow. From LA. Wow! Wow! Look wow! 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 Just a shame he's the one that's showing it to us and he's a fucking redact, but it's fucking gorgeous. If that friend never came, Chin would have been starving, innit? He didn't catch a fish. He fucking ruined the fucking steak. He would have been starving. Listen to Jenny Roll whilst preparing to cook more food on the Chin grill. You're not prepared. I bet his friend's going to do the cooking. I bet I haven't watched the video yet, but I bet you any money the friend does the cooking. I bet you any money now... The friend's one's gonna do most of the cooking, which is, I don't blame him, but let's see. Hiking back down to the we'll check see. our fishing rods after a few hours. You just leave your fishing rods to catch fish for a few hours. You think they're gonna be there and when you get back? Is that how it works? 
I had been fishing before, but I didn't know. You just leave it for a f- few hours and come back like this. Is that responsible? Would they? Hmm. Hmm. What do I know? What are you doing, man? Oh, what the? What was that? Right. No luck, just snagged. Next meal. Next day. Morning is here. Ooh, making some coffee. That rig he's got on, that fucking GoPro rig is so fucking. You should bin it, bro. Please. Morning that, is that here. GoPro chest rig. Ooh, Jesus Christ. Making some coffee. Man, shut up, dude. I'm always getting my yeah, damn videos. Like the boyfriend. You see, you don't want to be in the video. One of our rods is like bit. Ne- Here, the kid fishing next to us said one of our fishing poles is getting was getting bit. Bigger the kid being on point more than him. Let's go. Can you film, homie? Damn. You see the? Is it is it on? Yeah, it's on. All right. Let's go. Let's do this. Wow. Our rod's on this side. Is it? Yeah. Thanks for the heads up. Oh, oh, here. <laughs> with his full rig, 10 grand worth of equipment, and some little 10 year old kid is giving him tits out to fish and probably going to help him out more than anything. But look at the scenery. Look at that. That's fucking gorgeous, bro. She's more worried about doing his shitty vlogs. Look, he's got a chest rig on like he's fucking carrying a strap. He's fucking funny. He's a funny guy. <laughs> What's up, man? Gun holster, gun pro has been gone. Gotta love chin. You sure? It's been sitting on that all night. Oh man, my GoPro just died. Oh no. Your GoPro. That's yours, Jinzy? Fishy oh yeah, that, that one's stuck on a... Oh yeah, that's That one's stuck on a, a rock, I think. Oh, my liver... Hey, no animals... To, here, you... Go ahead, hold this. She more worried, she more worried about his GoPro when the fish. Yeah, honestly, my GoPro just died. Shut up, yeah, idiot. I, I think it's uh, on a rock. Yeah, it might be. Let's see. But go. Dude, I hate GoPros. Oh, the ashes are still there. Oh, you a fish. What do you think about your GoPros? Oh, look, that boy's got Fit oh, yeah. Boy merch on as well. No wonder he's Chin's friend. Fit Boy Tour. Brendan, who wears who wears this shit, man? What is this? Is this limited edition? Limited edition gear, right? Thick boy with the fucking lion. Is it Tiger Thick? Thick boy. Yeah, it is. It's Tiger Thick merch. Um, what do you call it? What's the thing called? Unreleased, right? Unreleased Tiger Thick merch. <laughs> oh, you won't catch me dead in this shit. I won't even wear this stuff to bed. I won't wear, even wear this stuff to fucking bed. Yeah, there are ashes there. Yeah. So, fire ashes. No, they're like human ashes. What? Are you serious? <laughs> Yeah, Who did that? He told us someone threw human lashes here. Yeah, probably Chin. Don't act surprised. You threw them in there. Well, big up. I'm a keep it buck. Chin has been outside more in the last year than Joe Rogan has in the last 20 years. You know what, Theodore? You're not wrong. You're not fucking wrong. You are not wrong. That's a very good analysis. You know what I mean? That's a very good analysis. Chin is actually in the field on the regular. Right? Joe goes on these hunts, what, once a year? Okay. Big up Theodore. You're actually, you're actually on point here. I actually believe you. You're actually right. I'm not going to lie. The logs the came log out of my line. Uh. You just saw someone... Thanks. I got weed or something. I'm going to have to cut dude. it. Wait. He was a very helpful little dude. Yeah, he's, he's actually there fishing. He's not just touch playing touch butt with your friend and fucking carrying a GoPro around and sweating over it. He's actually fishing. That's why he's a legend. Yeah, Jin, try to move the log first. Oh, you're prepared, man. Dude, you got waders on? Dude, this guy's all set up. Why are, they, why are they gassing it up and making it seem it's amazing what the kid's doing? He's there to fish. That's what you go to that lake for. You don't go there to fucking pretend to fish and then order fucking burgers and fries. Oh, yeah, it's still on that line. Oh, there it goes. There it goes, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's still stuck, up. huh? Yeah, man. Unless I got a shark. <laughs> Alligator or something. 
I don't think they have alligators here, bro. Damn it. Huh? Yeah, it's, it just sucks as last night. You guys catch anything? Yeah. It is murky out. Yeah, yeah. just try it. Just don't you help don't my cut buddy it. get out of his. Just try to keep pulling. You help? My buddy, my buddy, my buddy. Fucking hell, man. Let him do it. Just <laughs> you want to try? Go for it. Checking my fishing pole now. <laughs> what, Jared Mellerick? Big bro grooming. <laughs> oh, look at him! Big look at this dude! Groomed. You got it? Thanks, dude! But hey, at least you saved my way! Thanks, man. This kid is able to get my buddy snuck my buddy. Like, Yo, I, why does he overuse these words, man? Like, we know who you're talking about. You don't have to see buddy, buddy all the time. We get it. Relax with the buddy. My buddy, my buddy. Oh, really? I learned something from you, man. Thanks. Yo, big of a sad. On West Side Hoover, chin be outside. Yeah, exactly. It's like a, on West Side Hoover, on Insane Crip, right? <laughs> <laughs> on insane crip on Pyru. Big up Asada Seas. Appreciate you, brother. Oh man. Did they took yours too? Took my bait. You guys the videos? What's up? You guys the videos? Do I have the videos? You guys the YouTube videos. I do YouTube, yeah. Yeah, my best friend seen Oh, he's seen it? He's seen my videos? Yeah. No oh, really? way. You guys just for a Google, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the heck? He mentioned our bluegill video we made here. No one remembers what videos you made here. They all fucking shit. Dude, that's the video of us, Jinzu. Really? Yeah, we did the bluegill. Oh, that's Wait, like... You got caught me, right? Yeah, but not on this side. It was like on that side. Yes, yeah, a different side, but they were like huge they were, bluegills. They were, yeah, yeah, they were yeah. gigantic. Last year we were catching them. Really? Right here. Oh. Yeah, I, that's the first. They want this kid to go away and leave them alone so they can go back to fucking, right? As Brenda would say, sometimes we, you know, would fuck each other, right? That's what they want to do. First time we ever caught bluegills here, too. Well, this is going to be a lame video because we didn't catch anything. <laughs> All right, my let's buddy, roll up. My buddy. Hey, nice to meet you. This kid Thanks right. for helping us. I gave him a few of my favorite lures that we've worked well for me in this lake. Too. Yeah. Dude, this rock is slippery. Watch out, man. I know. Oi. All right, good luck, dude. Thank you. Hmm? Good luck, man. Chill and listening to somewhat of me and Brow's new songs. Honestly, imagine playing your own songs while you're camping with your friend. Just like, nah, I won't put anyone through that, to be honest. I won't even play my own DJ mix if I'm out somewhere around my friends like, that's fucking redacted let alone play my own songs ridiculous <laughs> i met up with my friend moji and her kiddos right after to enjoy i love how he's going everywhere to go eat because he hasn't eaten in time in it <laughs> to eat more delicious korean food in garden grove all looks way better than anything he cooks at home Yes, Look at that. Look at that spread. That looks fucking good. Yeah, yummy. I'm gonna get all the sides over here. Second trip. <laughs> oh, nice raining. It actually looks still. I'm not gonna lie. It actually still looks very beautiful even when it's raining. I'm not gonna lie. It actually looks really nice even when it's fucking raining. It looks fucking gorgeous. The scenery. It really does look amazing. Really fucking nice. That's the only good thing about these vlogs that Chin provides. They do provide for some really nice scenic shots and stuff. Morning is here. Like the mist. I don't know. Something okay. I love. Maybe because I'm English. Maybe because I'm British. The rain and shit. I'm used to it. Dang raccoons got Rac my meat. Raccoons literally opened the zipper of my cooler and ate all the Korean barbecue. Lol. Oh my gosh. Okay. They de Dude, they knew how to freaking open this up. That is insane. I just realized that it was like halfway out. Oh my gosh. Damn, that's twenty-two dollars worth of Korean barbecue gone to do. It doesn't matter, it's a good thing. It, the, the the raccoons did a much better use of it than you would have. You would have burned it for the anyway. Raccoons. Look at I saw the I saw the paws. Oh the paws everywhere, huh? There's so 
Dude, all the all my brand new plates. You don't use the plates That's anyway. Cool. It doesn't matter. You always cutting board, so it doesn't matter. Damn these pins. Time to so see you put the liver on the hook. My buddy demonstrating how magic yeah. thread works. And now he will be applying the magic thread. The thread is incredibly magical because. What? God dang it! He is now applying the magic thread. It's called magic thread because you can literally <laughs> wrap around your baby. <laughs> Raccoons have hands. We got chair pillow shades. Cow, raccoons are sending you a sign. Go home. Exactly. Eight. <laughs> if your bait is prone to fall out, and especially when you cast, this magic thread holds it on. And the most amazing part of the magic thread is like when you're done with it, you just snap it off and it sticks. As my friend just showed you right now. Incredible. And now he's going to toss this into the lake and catch a nice catfish or bluegill or whatever. And we are now, son of a mother. Nice way to fish. And now we're walking down towards the lake. Letting your fucking alarm go off right next to the lake. Brilliant fishing technique. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the cast. Do not hook me, dude. Don't hook me. And here we go. Don't fuck me. Oh, side cast. That's good. All right. Well, Chin, enjoy the lake. Catch some good fish. <laughs> Let's uh, hope. Yeah. Have, a, have a nice meal tonight. Um, and uh, yeah, if anything else comes up, anything else we can be doing to help, then you know where to find us. Of course. All right. Have a great weekend, guys. All right. Have a good one. Thanks, guys. You too, Chin. Good man. Yeah. yeah. Peace. Do you think he does these like meetings at work? These work meetings while he's fishing as like a humble flex to show how dedicated he is. Like, hey, I'm work I'm fishing, but I'm still able to do this meeting with you. Do you think he purposely takes him he he, pur he purposely agrees to these meetings knowing full way he's going to go fish? Or do you think it's because of the way he works, he can do what he kinda wants and then the meetings happen when they happen? So if he's at home, he's at home. If he's on the road, he's on the road. Or is it like a weird kind of like humble brag? I'm the best employee ever type of thing. I wonder, because it's odd. If I'm off, if I'm off work, I'm off work. There is no like taking fucking conference calls during a fish. Maybe someone wants to give you a quick call to ask for some info or help, call. But I'm not sitting down in a fucking Zoom meeting while I'm out fishing. No, I'm not, I refuse. Because that counts as my time off as my holiday. But I don't know. Maybe I'm looking into it too much. My turn to do the magic thing. Okay, cool. I'm gonna try this. This is my buddy's hamburger with my keto bread. My look, look, look at his my buddy. Look how bet. Look how much better that looks. Just even there from that angle. Also, look at the ridiculous gug. It's a very African uncle watch. It's just unnecessarily large, isn't it? It's just massive on his wrist. It's hilarious. Manager, again, one of my African uncles would wear a type of watch like that. Just gargantuan for the sake of it. But that burger looks way better, just even there from that angle, than anything Chin's ever made, ever. In the history of Chin making stuff. Let's see how this tastes. Hi. Did you season the patty? Or yes. Not? With what? Uh, salt and pepper, and then uh, salt. Salt and pepper and salt. Yeah. Well, yeah. You see, you see yeah, when you actually season something, it tastes nice. Not when you just rub the seasoning while it's on the fucking fire, you donut. Yeah, salt. Yeah, basically. Pepper, pepper. Oh, it's good. In and out. Chin and out. Chin and out. Chin and out. Yeah. Not bad. You know, you have the in and out packet of the spread, so yeah, yeah. Yes, you add it to it. Beat you. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? He's actually, he's actually, good, he's happy. He's eating. We're well. checking on the rods right now. My buddy, this guy's basically filling the the slot of Bard. 
It's just this is definitely like you know what I mean. This shows how useless he is. He needs his friends to kind of come down and act like he's de facto girlfriend and make him food, or he would be struggling. Thanks, you got some. We'll see. And it's been what, like an hour? Two. Two hours. Two hour. Yeah, I don't think so. You feel something? Yeah, he feels his dick in your in his ass. Oh yeah. You do? No. The weed. Damn it. Look how much better that shit looks compared to what Chin cooks. So my buddy's making a salad right now. Chicken Jesus Christ, look at how good that looks compared to what Chin usually eats. This buddy is saving Chin's life, bro. This buddy is saving Chin's life. Look at how good this stuff looks compared to what Chin, compared to what we usually watch when we're doing these reaction live stream things, guys. Look at how good this salad looks compared to what we've seen Chin eat. Salad with croutons. Look at that. So simple and nice. Yo, big up. I don't know why, but Chin has become so unbearable to me. Yeah, He's like, like a grown child. It's, there's something about this type of person, big up Mexican salsa, that just is always going to get under your skin. Because like you said, it's a grown child. It's a man child type of thing. And it's just the lack of, the, the you, being this useless is just an insult to all of our intelligence. And kind of just, it's not going to, it's going to, it's bound to make you angry. Because this guy is insanely useless. Like insanely so, especially considering his age. He's like what in his mid forties or something, and he literally struggles to look after himself, even to feed himself in a roundabout way, and to cook the most simplest of things. He makes it so hard, and for some reason, I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out why he records this stuff. Not this stuff. This is pretty. This has been pretty decent, but the stuff where he like he fucks up a meal. Like why does he share that with people? Why? Do, why do you think he's sharing that with us? Does he think, like, we're going to learn from his fuck-ups? Does he think he's helping us? Like, why is he doing that? Why is he sharing these horrendous meals that are ill-prepared, that look like shit? Why is he sharing it with us? Like, what What does he get out of that? I really would like to know. Oh, yeah. And this, by the way, the chicken was really grilled good. on the chin grill. This looks really good. Look how good oh, yeah. that looks compared to what he eats. We shall enjoy. The guy, oh, my God, he's got prawns. Is that prawns? Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's tomatoes. Sorry. He's made him a chicken Caesar salad, basically, right? With breadcrumbs, nice diced tomatoes, and probably some nice dressing made too. Italian dressing? Italian. Fuck. Just a little yeah. bit on mine. Not too much. A little bit. All right. Look at Chin trying to be like discerning. Just a little bit on mine. Shut up, bro. You brought A1 sauce to cover your fucking steak with that looked fucking sublime and that you fucked on a grill. You don't know what you're talking about. Don't start being, oh, just a little bit, please. It's so rich. It's like, shut up and eat. Thank you. this <laughs> shit. He's actually eating well now for a change. He's actually eating well. I'll tell you what, Ginger. This guy's giving him a balanced meal. He gave him a sub. He gave him a burger. Fuck, bro. He gave him that taco with the meats inside, with the sausages. Not bad. Don't He's making him a balanced diet of food. Yes or no? Really good. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Alright, this is my last attempt. It's at night time. It's getting a little sketchy here. Got my liver on with my magic thread. And instead of a Carolina rig, I just put magic slide thread. seekers and a hook. Yay. I don't want to. I'm just too lazy thread. at this point. Oh, dang it. These branches. Every time. All right, I'm gonna launch this out, leave it out overnight to soak and see if there's any bites. I'd love to do overhead cast, but there's no room to do it here. All right, that's not bad. That's like 50 feet, 45 feet. Let it sink to the bottom. And then I'm gonna start letting the drag out like a lot. Yeah, so they can run with it, eat it, and then I'll get them tomorrow morning. There's a little pocket here. That should work. If I lose my rod, it is what it is. But um, yeah, so that's what it looks like. 
We'll check it tomorrow morning. All right, no catch and cook tonight, at least for tonight, but we have delicious pork chops that my buddy's grilling on the grill. Look at how good that looks. Come on, guys, man. Look at how much good that, look at how much better that looks than anything we've ever seen Ching grill. Look at how that, that actually looks like it's been grilled to perfection. Maybe some level of seasoning has been added to it as well. Fuck, he's so useless. He's actually shocked. I want to, you know what? I like this vlog, but I want to see more of Chin's cooking uselessness. I don't want to see this guy chefing up and making him delicious food, taking him to the best bars in the area. I want to see Chin's awful cooking. This guy is really chefing up. This friend is actually saving Chin's life on numerous occasions because this looks really nice. All right now, on the Chin grill, baby. He keeps saying Chin grill to take some credit for what's happening, but he's done nothing. I love how he's doing that. On the Chin grill, bro, it's not you. It's him. And some chicken wings. First off, the chicken wings. Of course he dropped them on the floor. Of course he's on the floor. I'm gonna wash that later. Don't wash it, just eat it, you fucking idiot. It doesn't matter. Just wash it. Two second rule. That's, when you think about the stuff that Chin's eaten on stream, he's now being nervous about not eating that fucking chicken wing that dropped just a centimeter from where he was. From the stuff that he usually eats. Look at look at his eyes. That's a that's a good screenshot actually. That fucking that's 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 fear, isn't it? That's a fear of having to move back home, the fear of T Fat K going under. I love that. I think you love that. But yeah, um the things that he's eaten over the years, he's now afraid of picking up a chicken wing quickly and eating it. Man, grab the chicken wing, stop being a fucking pussy. First off, chicken wings. And look his his whole lips he's been eating anyway. Look at his lips. His lips are completely covered in oil. Unless he's been kissing that guy, they're all really moist and shiny looking. So he's been eating on something anyway. You see that? It's, it's kind of charred, but I don't give a shit. We don't care. Just eat it. We don't. We can't see it. It's a shitty camera. No lighting. We don't care. Just eat it and tell us how it, it, it tastes. That's yeah. damn good. Duh. I clean off the bone every time I eat chicken. Because your friend and sometimes. Because your friend made it, not because you made it. Let's see. I'll eat the marrow. Oh, badass. Not much marrow in there. And this is a pork chop that my buddy just made right now. My buddy, my buddy. Oh, work cool, this work cool. My buddy, my buddy. I think there's a little bit of tism there, isn't it? My buddy, my buddy. My, we get it. We get it. We get it. We get it. He's right there. We get it. Oh, damn, dude. That's good. My buddy, my What buddy. sauce is that? It's my cum. What sauce is that? It's my ejaculate chin. What sauce is that? It's my man juice. He used some leftover go to go sauce from an amazing Vietnamese restaurant in Balsa called Trin Chow. Tru Chow. Tru Chow? Sriracha? Sriracha and hoisin. It's so good. Look, he's That's friend. more the same? Cooking. Yeah, same, same. I don't know I'm gonna try this one. Yeah, big up. I wonder how Jin is going to pay the rent for his high rise apartment once Tfap goes all the way down. The downgrade, big up Mexican salsa. The downgrade, the downsizing from Chin was gonna be really brutal. He's probably gonna be cycling. That Tierra Prius will get ditched. Well, he can't cycle in LA, but. The downgrade is going to be really sad to watch. I don't want it to happen though, so I want T Fat K to survive and be around for a long time, because I feel like Chin will be the innocent. He's the person that doesn't deserve to like have to, because he he will have to downgrade. Brian Cannon and Brendan will be fine. Papa Shaw, Papa Callan will fucking get those guys out of a muddle, write a check, and make the sure they're okay. They're never going to sleep rough ever in their lives. But Chin might have to end up. He might end up having to sleep in these tents. If he's not careful and T Fat K goes down, he might have to make this tent his actual real abode. So be careful. Chill out, you know, where you fucking point your be careful where who you hit your wagon to, basically. Big up Mexican, I appreciate you. Thank you. Actually let me close the blinds for one second. This is so bomb. Oh, oh my perfect. god, dude. Perfect kill, man. Mm. So bomb. It is now 5.23 a.m. Let's go check on 
the wrong situation. My buddy had to leave early for an appointment. My buddy, my buddy, again with the fucking buddy. Shut up. I can't see because it's so dark out right now. I love I love all that equipment, right? All that equipment. Ten grand on this, ten grand on that. And he uses his phone light to guide him down where his fucking fishing rod is. No flashlight, no nothing. Or not flashlight, no flashlight, sorry. No you know what I mean? It's just honestly the, he's an interesting guy how he spends his money. He's got like seventeen GoPros, a hundred microphones, but then he has no specific flashlight, no paper plates no steak knife like <laughs> i just find him interesting honestly i really do because that studio room alone where he films his fucking videos where he's recording and the one where he filmed his ad for his company that sponsors him that room is, uh, alone probably has 20 grand worth of equipment maybe more yet he doesn't have a flashlight i find it insane but let's give this a shot What's happening? Anything there? I bet you there's no bites, so I can feel it. No bites. Definitely What's feels like it's stuck. No bites or bites? So we have bites or no bites? I have a feeling there's going to be no bites here. No bites. No bites. No bites, McGee. No, it'll be no bites, McGee in a minute. I bet you. Whoa. Something just jumped over there. Get stuck. Alright, so it's just tangled. Okay, it usually is here. Alright, no bites to McGee, everything's gone again, nothing's happening. Still nothing. There it goes. I wonder if I should. This is riveting. Come on, Chin, why are you even cruising your vlog? Why do you invite. Why jumping. are you cruising your vlog, boy? This is horrendous content. Why are ones this clipped out? Why? All right, I'll be back. Oh, oh yeah? Okay. Cool. All right, I don't always fish for bass. I rarely <laughs> fish for bass. He has I not caught a single thing in it. With this topwater bait. He is and fish for Thank God for that friend. Thank God for that friend. For anyway, that friend. So this bait and this bait. Let's go. He has not caught a single thing. He'd be starving. Let's try bass first. That friend came in, gave him a couple blowies. Gave him a steak sandwich, a burger, a beer, sent him on his way, right? Blew his back out, sent him on his way. Love it. Pick up the friend. Buddy. My buddy. Yeah, sure, your buddy. A fan coast casted this Zap Poroska for the last minute. Right. One more cast, and then I'm going to the trout bait. Why would you think this water would have fish in it anyway? Interesting location. Just by my eye, it looks kind of fishless, you know? <laughs> just looking there by the eye. Just the eye test. doesn't pass the fish test. All right, done. <laughs> He's so bad at fishing. He's so bad. Okay, now time for the rooster tail. This is my last cast in this pan for Martin. With this pan for Martin. Just imagine how much money he spent on rods. Chin's definitely the kind of person that would be easily sold on a rod if it's got a particular kind of brand, right? This guy says, oh yeah, this rod, it does this, it does this, or this rod is, you know, whatever. It's got heat-seeking fucking things on it to catch the fish. Like He's definitely the kind of person that would easily be, you know, be twisted by some good sales pitch about a certain particular rod, I bet you. It's tough here because you can't overhead cast. <clears throat> There's too much brush and trees. <laughs> I 
Oh, do I have one? Oh shit, I got one. Oh really? You got <laughs> yes, one? Baby. No way, he got one. Oh my god, he proved us wrong. He really got one. What is this? Wow, in that horrible water. Fair play. It's tiny though, isn't it? God is damn. Smally? Oh, that's no, actually quite big. It's a large mouth. It's actually quite big. Fair I think play it's Smally. Fair play oh, to him. Shoot, I don't want to get hooked. Fair play to him. He actually got something. He actually fucking got something. Wow, I'm actually shocked. I'm not gonna lie. I'm generally shocked. Look <laughs> at a small Smally. <clears throat> I'm generally shocked he got something. Generally, generally shocked. All right, let's take a little quick picture. Incredible. Got one, baby. Fair little play. Smally. Fair play. All right, go home. Did he kill it? He bounced. Okay, let's go for Jesus another one. Jesus Christ, bro! How you throw the fish right onto the rocks? That fish has got concussed. That's a that's an evil man. That's a fucking evil. Look at his eyes. That's a fucking evil man. He knows what he's doing. That's evil. That's pure evil. Fucking hell. That fish died. Look. One baby. Little smally. All right. Go home. Ouch. That fish hit his head in a rock, innit? He. All right. Go home. Is it still alive? Right. Go home. <sighs> I don't think that fish is going to be alive after a while. That fish has definitely got a Brendan Schaub level concussion. Fucking <laughs> He bounced. Okay, let's go for another one. Twenty-five minutes later, a fan coasting, no more bites. I almost forgot to do this. Here is our campsite for the weekend. Yeah, exactly, Coyle. A very, very good point. When Ch when Delia and Chin have 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 a wrist tats, they're no longer cool. Exactly. Even Chin's tats, like there's nothing bad else about them in the slightest. It's just like a an attempt at having a personality in it, really. Like. What they say, what they do, what they're there for, who knows? But hey, it is what it is, you know. I'm just about to leave right now. Now he's got those tats, he's definitely shorts guy. I think that's probably part of the rebrand, isn't it? Get loads of leg tats and you become a permanent shorts boy. Now, it's 447. Take a look around. That's our neighbor. But for the most part, this campsite's really big. Um, it's, fucking, yeah. it's fucking beautiful. That's the second that. neighbor. That's fucking beautiful. You can actually live in California and have a completely different lifestyle than what everybody kind of portrays online. It's actually completely different. You can actually go to all these amazing lakes around you and experience a bit of nature, you know, be out in nature, kind of disconnect from the, you know, from the world and shit for a few hours. It's actually pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. It's all the way down there, but no one's there right now. So we cleaned everything up. And uh, there's a walkway to get to the lake. The lake is pretty full now, so which is awesome. But uh, there's no place to actually sit down. That's why we just left our poles there. But yeah, this site is actually really nice, really pretty. So if you come out to Lake Achuma, this is another great site, Site 447. See you on the next one. And going to work in the morning. We Late night link. My look at that. that. Isn't that isn't that like a isn't that like a false? Isn't that like a false advertising? When have these guys ever had a late night link? One of these dweebs ever had a late night, a late night link. Please tell me in a stream chat. One of these dweebs, these absolute redacts ever had a late night link. I don't, I think never personally. I think this is complete fabrication. They've never had a late night link. So little brows, chin, Austin Awuk, or Austin awake. Probably that's what his name is. Um, probably have never felt the warm embrace of a woman randomly during a late light link ever no such thing as a cheeky link has ever happened to them in any capacity i refuse to believe it refuse to believe it calling now calling now it started as a late night link i think it down time for a drink or smoke or whatever you like we keep going till we get it right but this is more than a late night thing this could be a real life thing we go whatever you like I met you 
out in Nashville. Last night was bad real. I woke up and I need some Advil. One more time. In Nashville. Last night was mad real. I woke up and I need some Advil. One more time. In Nashville. Last night was mad real. I woke up and I need some Advil. One more. In Nashville. Last night was mad real. I woke up and I need some Advil. Out in Nashville. Last night was mad real. I woke up and I need some Advil. Yeah. I know you out here. You doing your thing. I hope that you remember. What's it say? And this is us rehearsing late night link for the con. They re they're performing in a concert. Okay, fair play, man. Hey, hey, fair play. I guess we all have to start somewhere. But imagine going to watch these guys perform in a concert. I oh, I guess that's Austin awake. Austin is awake. Little Browse is browsing, and Chin is there with his shorts on. You know what Chin kind of looks like from afar. Can can I be can I be mean? For the sake of being mean. Doesn't Chin look like an amputee? Like, you know amputees that get their legs done? Don't you think so? Huh? What do you think? Don't you think he looks like he's kind of, look, he's kind of got one of those like fake legs? Like those from afar. Don't, 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 don't make you look like he's got one of those like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that unnecessary to say? He kind of looks like it, isn't it? <laughs> his legs look. He kind of looks like he's got like a metal leg, like <laughs> like the guy in um in Tracker, um Tracker cast. You watch Tracker? Who's a little black? Yeah, this one. Is this, that's his name? Oh, that septum piercing is tough. Bob Exley. Is that, the, is that his name? Bob Exley in Tracker. He he's got like he's got he's got he's not got legs in it. Yeah, see, yeah, that, that's Chin. <laughs> that's Chin. <clears throat> this is Chin, man. But he has, he didn't serve, he didn't do anything. This is, this is fucking Chin. This is fucking Chin. I don't care what anyone says. Chin, with these tattoos and the way his legs are, he kind of looks like this guy. I swear to God he does. I swear, in my life, he kind of looks like this guy. What do you think? That's, that's Chin there, don't you think so? Look. That's Chin. Look at my late night link. Look, look at it. That that is chin. I don't care what anyone says. That is chin. Stage what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Oh sorry, I I got I gotta rewind that. So let me let me rewind that. Sorry, my, sorry Mexican salsa pro I appreciate you. Let me rewind that. What do you, what do you say here? I wonder how Chin is going to pay the rent for his high-rise apartment once Tfap goes all the way down. I don't know. I wonder how. Oh, what, what, was that? Was that you? Okay, cool. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I thought I heard something. It doesn't matter. Um... <laughs> What is that stage presence, man? Come on, bro. Get a bit. Come on. <laughs> is that Chin's finger in his girls? This is that Chin's finger in his girls. Uche, this is what you got to look forward to, Uche. If ever Chin was to take you out, this is what you got to look forward to. Look at this. Look at that house. <laughs> we don't close. They mean it. Look at Chin. That's better. At least do something. Like, let's part of the fucking thing. Let's have some stage presence there. Chin, get on your knees a little bit. Make it old school R&B. Let's do something, bro. Come on. Right. Right. Okay. There we go. There we fucking go for now. Um. Okay, we're done. We are done. 
We are fucking done. That was absolutely horrendous. I hate every part of it. Yeah, big up who that is. Who that I can't is. be live. Chin is hitting 50 trying to become famous. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Actually, let me see some of these comments. Who is that? Uh, big up Mexican salsa. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I can't. I don't know. What is some of these comments saying? Um, love your chin. Chin is a good guy, but a fellow Asian guy to another Asian guy. His cooking videos make me smile. Please do more vi vlogs. What? I think he's, I think that's, I think they're trolling him. Just a little one on the, just a little on the crispy side. Fun part of camping is learning which means burn steak every, no, it doesn't. No one cooks their steak burned like that. No, shut up. What do you say? I'm pretty sure I burnt 9% of my food whilst camping, but I love the food. Of course you do, because you have no fucking standards. Fucking weirdo. I miss Chin cooking videos. Chin finally cooking like an adult, but then he burns premium cut of ribeye. Exactly. Keeps dropping the asparagus and didn't even remove the hard stem of the asparagus. Taking baby steps though. Why are you telling people you're using a plastic fork, plastic knife when you're tasting a steak? When you share random miscellaneous comments like that, it sounds redacted as fuck. I want to defend you, Chin, but sometimes I can't. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why that little kid is always getting rupeed the reddit post brought me here i like it a lot new viewer again oh chin's a good guy uh, is he though is he is he though is he actually a good guy oh that was fucking brilliant man that was fucking brutal honestly i'm, I'm so glad i watched that in a way but i'm also sad i had to waste my time watching that because that was absolutely awful i'm not gonna lie that was absolutely awful with the sauce. Oh, no, okay. One more time. Let's let's not no, let's not do that again. Let's just look look at look at number one, that rib came out of the fucking f caller looking horrible anyway, right? Let's go back to that rib. Let's go back to that rib by one second. Look at how it came out. It came out looking awful anyway, right? He took it out of the fucking container. Look what it looked like. Whatever he storage. Look. That looks pretty bad anyway. Maybe it's been oxidized and that's probably the only reason, but it doesn't look too great there. It's a still an amazing piece of meat that should have been seasoned, that should have been marinated. It should have been just ready to go on the grill. Done. You're ready to fucking eat that shit. Medium rare. But look at it. It's already been oxidized. No seasoning. No, nothing's been done. No preparation. No even like stabs on the steak to make the seasoning seep in. Nothing. Just... Took it from the wrapping paper, put it on there. No care in the world. Then the asparagus just, he just moves it off the center, puts it near the edge where all the main heat is. Asparagus doesn't, oh, I didn't notice he didn't cut off the stems, by the way. Doesn't wash the asparagus, doesn't cut off the stems, nothing. Just plops them all on there raw. No preparation. And then just starts to sprinkle salt and pepper or whatever on top of the fucking steak. That's not seasoning, brother. That what is that? Or oh, that is that's maybe seasoning. It's not marination, I guess. And then it pops up. Where the, where, what happened to that potato? The potato that he didn't. The potato you threw away. Feels like it's like uh, sixty something degrees. And then look, he yeah. forgot it. Yeah. And then he turned around and it's completely burned. Look at that. Look at that. It's got from you. Could, that's not edible. Just throw that in the bin. Or cut it up and put it into a burrito or something. Look at the other side. Oh my goodness. Fucking I burned it. Burned. I think he's dropping the asparagus. I sh Damn it. Why is my... Do I drop this too? How can you not quickly just flick over the asparagus using the stems? Why can't you just quickly take your fingers and just twist them? Just to kind of make them cook on the other side. Do you really need to use your tongs to flip over asparagus? Is it really that difficult to do? You can't just quickly roll them around each other. Is it really that hard to, to roll asparagus around here on the stems and just make sure they're just cooked on either side? Dang it. And look this at, is the most burnt. Look at that up. steak. Look at that. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, that's another screenshot need to be taken. Oops, wrong person. Uh, another screenshot. Oops, wrong person again. Another screenshot. What am I doing here? That needs to be taken. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at this. Look at that piece of steak. 
please, for the love of God, look at that. <sighs> look at that. But he destroyed a lovely, as Mexican salsa says, premium cut of fucking steak. Just destroyed. Because Chin touched it. Look at that. Fucking oh what well, side by well, side by side comparison is fucking hilarious. <laughs> I'm not gonna. That's that's a bit. Uche is now being incredibly, incredibly racist. Look at that. Uche is saying fresh looks like a burnt piece of steak. That is mad. That is mad. Uche is saying that. Uche is calling fresh a burnt piece of steak. <laughs> that is mad. <laughs> that is mad oh my god that is fucking crazy i'm not taking part in that at all i'm not taking part in that at all jesus christ jesus christ <laughs> <sighs> but yeah chin is a special kind of redacted man chin is a special kind of redacted then he tries to lie when he's eating Steak out of look how he lied when he eats look at he's lying still look at that he even burned the asparagus brothers Burnt and I keep dropping a lot of them. The potatoes inside has been completely decimated. I'm terrible at this. You're but, terrible uh, at everything, bro. Except for podcast try. producing, you're terrible at everything. They look him try to eat it. Look, look. Oh, we shall see how it is. And I'm using a plastic fork and plastic knife. Look his look 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 his lying face. Not look his bad. look his lying face. Look his face lying. That is so chewing. Look at that. That's, That's actually pretty good. Yeah, you lie. You lie. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. We know you're lying. Let me put some. And look at the light. Yeah, look at the light. I'm going to eat this and I'm going to turn it off because I want to finish Sauce. eating. You always eat some camera and then the dad doesn't want to eat on camera. Why don't you want to eat on camera anymore? Thick and hearty. It's really good. Pause on that one. Listen. Eating the burnt food. It wasn't tasty at all. Okay. Good night. Sweet dreams. I'm going to finish all this stuff. No, you're not. You're not going to finish anything. That's that's a lie. I'm going to finish all this okay. stuff. Good night. Sweet dreams. I'm, I'm going to finish, finish all this stuff, stuff and uh, I'll see you tomorrow yeah, morning. Right. See you in my morning. I'm gonna finish all this stuff. I'm gonna put it off to good use. I'm gonna finish all this stuff. Yeah, no, you're not. Don't lie. You're not gonna finish anything. Oh, that was fucking brilliant. That was absolutely fucking brilliant. I loved everything about it. I'm gonna finish all this stuff. I'm gonna finish all this stuff. Yeah, right. 